Welcome back to the Data Professor YouTube channel. If you're new here, my name is Chinin Nanta Senamad, and I'm an Associate Professor of Bioinformatics. On this YouTube channel, we cover about data science concepts and practical tutorials. If you're into this type of content, please consider subscribing. Are you using Pandas for your data science project? Are you bored of the same old styling of the Pandas data frame? If you answered yes to both of these, then you're going to be happy with what is in store for you today. So in this video, I'm going to show you how you can adjust the style of the Pandas data frame to a customized color of your choice. So without further ado, let's get started. So the first thing that you want to do is head over to the GitHub of the data professor and click on the code repository and then scroll down, click on Python, scroll down, find Panda Styling Data Frame. Click on that. Okay, and right click on the raw link, save link as, and save it into your computer. If you have a Google Colab, you can follow along as well by clicking on the file open notebook. And then click on the GitHub tab, type in Data Professor, and find Panda Styling Data Frame, and click on it. Okay, but because I already have it open, I'm going to use this version. And so let me start by clearing all outputs before we begin, so that we can start together. All right, so let's begin. And so the first step here is to import the necessary libraries, which is NumPy and Pandas. Okay, and then the next step is we're going to download the NBA player stats data for our example. And as you might recall, this was collected by scraping from the website in a previous video. So please find the link to the video in the video description down below and also in the link up here. Okay, let's continue. Okay, and so we're going to download this from our GitHub. And then we're going to read in the pandas data frame and we're going to display selected columns as shown here in the selection variable. And then to make the selection into the data frame, we're going to define df equals to df open and closing bracket and inside as the argument will be selection. And so we're going to display only the selected columns here, not the entire data set. Okay, so let's have a look. How does it look like? And so this is the typical data frame that you're going to see when you're using Google Colab or when you're using your Jupyter Notebook or even your Kaggle Notebook. So it's going to have this plain look, okay? Not that it's not good, but it is a little bit boring. So let's say that you want to color this to something else. Can you do it? Well, yeah. So I'm going to show you. And so this styling trick of the pandas data frame is brought to you by this article in towards data science. And so if you would like to see other tips from this, please have a look at this article. And so here we're going to show you selected tips in styling the pandas table or the pandas data frame with CSS styling. And so let's look at the code. So we're going to start by defining the data frame DF. And then we're going to show only the first 20 rows. So we're going to have the head function and inside the argument, we're going to be 20. So that will display 20 rows. And then it's going to be dot style dot. And then we're going to use the set table styles function. And as argument, it's going to be right here as highlighted here. And so here we're going to select the background color of the header row. And this is going to be the font color, which is going to be white. And the background color will be green. And here we're going to display the font using Verdana. And then we're going to display the background color of the odd rows and even rows differently. So in the odd rows, we're going to have it in the gray color, but in the even rows, we're going to show it as a white color. And then we're going to hide the index number from the display. Okay, so let's run this code. All right, so this is the before. Okay, and this is the after. Okay, so you can color this any other color that you like. Okay, but in this example, I'm using green color. And you're going to see here that the odd number is gray, DC, 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 which is the hex code for gray color. 
And you see here that we also use the common name as well, white. So you can use the common name as well as the hex code to define the color. Okay, so the odd rows are gray, even rows are white. Okay, so this might help you to quickly scan the table. All right, so actually the default also has light gray color. Okay, and the difference here is that in the collab, you have this hover highlight as well, meaning that when your mouse hovers over a particular row, you see that the background color becomes darker gray color. Okay, but in this style, nothing happens. But I'm going to show you in just a moment how you can make that highlight in a different color. Okay, and so let's move on. All right, and here we're going to add the yellow highlight color. So the only difference here is this block of code. So this will tell us that upon hovering the mouse, the background color will be changed to yellow. So it's going to be the background color of the particular row that the mouse hovers over. Okay, so let's have a look. So when we hover the mouse over the particular row, it changes the background color to be yellow. Okay, so this might be more clearer than the default color of darker gray. Okay, so you can change this to other color that you like. If you make it red right could it be pink okay it could be pinkish color as well or how about purple okay maybe too dark okay so let's say that you want to have other colors you can head over to this link that i provided at the bottom of this notebook so select a color that you like Maybe you want some orange looking color, right? Maybe this orange. So it could be any gradient color, any that you like here. Let's say that I like this color. I'll just copy this hex code and I'm going to paste it here. And remember to add the hashtag or the pound key. And there you go, orange color. Okay. So let's say that you want to perform some conditional coloring. In this example, I'm going to show you how you can color the values of a particular column based on conditions. So here we have three scenarios, right? If the value is less than five, it will be colored black. If the value is greater than five, but less than 20, it will be colored red. And if the value is greater than 20, it will be colored green. Okay. So whenever each of this condition returns to be true, then it will return this statement. And this statement will output color colon, and then it's going to make use of the modulo operator, meaning that the color variable here will be replaced with the respective string of the color, either green, red, or black. And so this value will be placed in here. And so it will be color colon and then the name of the color that we want inside here. Okay. And so in this example, we're going to use the points column. And so let's have a look. And so you're going to see that the color of values greater than 20 will be green. And if it's greater than five, it will be red, but less than 20 and other values less than five will be black. Okay, so this might come in handy when you are eyeballing the data set and you just want a quick glance of the relative distribution of the values. So based on your own binning, the three color binning, the green, red, and the black frequency of each of these three classes. Okay. And so make note that the index number is also shown here. And so if you see that values having green color, it has a index number of seven and index number of 19. And so you could also display the player name, the position, and the team, okay, also for the first 20 row. And then you're going to see the index number right here. So if it's green, it's number 19 and number 7, right? So number 7 is right here and number 19, okay? Just in case you would like to know the name, all right? So this will allow you to quickly have a look. All right. And so this is a quick tips and tricks on how you can style your pandas data frame. And if this video was helpful to you, please give it a thumbs up and subscribe if you haven't yet done so. And as always, the best way to learn data science is to do data science. And so please enjoy the journey. Thank you for watching. Please like, subscribe and share, and I'll see you in the next one. But in the meantime, please check out these videos.